Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. My name is Addie, and if you guys are new here and you like planty content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That would be awesome of you to do. Today's video is basically me showing you guys my top favorite house. Oh, no. Today's video is me showing you guys my 10 top favorite house plants for the month of November. I'm not going to show you guys in any particular way. I'm just snagging up my plants and showing you guys. I'm kind of going into detail about them. But my favorite house plants change all the time. And I'm sure you guys can agree with me. Like if you buy a new house plant, like that's immediately the plant that you obsess over. That's the plant that you show everyone because you're just happy that you finally have it in your home. So that's kind of how I feel about these plants. So let's just get into it. The first plant that I'm going to show you guys, I'm sure you guys are familiar with if you guys are subscribers to my channel and you guys follow me on Instagram. This is my Philodendron Podatum. This is one of my pride and joys right here. Um, this was my first, I wouldn't say rare or uncommon house plant, but it was more of like I don't, I don't see these in my nurseries or my boutiques here in Fort Wayne. Um, so I would say it's kind of uncommon in my area. I feel a dendron podatum is just so cute. And ever since I've had it, it's put out this whole new stem with three new leaves and one on the way, which I'm surprised that a lot of my plants are still putting out new growth considering it's like 30 degrees here and it's the first snowfall today. So I hope they keep it up because this is my first winter with house plants. So I've been kind of a nervous wreck. So I'm definitely preparing with buying a bunch of grow lights and humidifiers and then um, Mars Hydro gave me a grow tent grow light which is helping tremendously I would say. But this philodendron is thriving in LECA and I will include the video down in the description showing you guys how I transferred this plant into LECA. The next one is also a philodendron. I do have a thing for philodendrons. They're just, I feel like they're fairly easy house plants and they grow pretty fast in my opinion. Um, this one is the philodendron brandy. I am a sucker for leaves that have like a silver or gray pattern on them. It's just, it's so striking to me. And then it's put out these two new leaves since I've had it. And it's, it has one on the way. I don't know if you guys can see with this leaf, but I don't know if it's going to come out in one piece because there's like a little rip or a tear. In it. So that's kind of upsetting, but I like this plant. It's cute. Okay, let's stare away for philodendrons for a little bit. The next one is my Pelea peperomioides. I love saying that name. Pelea peperomioides. Such a tongue twister. But this little guy, I actually have two of them. This is the more healthier looking one that I wanted to show off today. Um, this plant is just, it's so unique to me. I just love the round flat leaves. And look at this. Can you guys see that new little baby that it's putting out? Like that is so freaking cute. That's why I picked this one because it has such a cute little baby. And the new, this is all new growth. Um, I don't know what happened, but all the older mature leaves died off. They just got really droopy. They were hanging over the pot, so I just chopped it. So all of this is fairly new growth. Super cute. Um, I keep this guy next to a humidifier because I think that these guys like humidity so I mean it's been thriving under my grow light and right next to the humidifier so I'm gonna keep it right there 
of this <laughs> blue boy. This thick um, blue cactus, I think it's called like a super blue. I will include the actual botanical name right here for you guys. But this is my newest addition to my plant family. I've been wanting a bigger cactus and one of my plant stores here in Fort Wayne were having a 20% off sale. So I took advantage of that. And look how blue it is. Like it is so blue. I'm obsessed. And it has like little hairs, but don't let that fool you. It's not fuzzy. It's still prickly. And I didn't have any rocks to put on top of the soil. So I put sand for the aesthetic. I mean, it doesn't really look like a desert, but I think it looks cool to me. But yeah, this is my super blue cactus. I love it. It's so goofy looking. It's just like one little cactus. I don't know. Cactus are just so funny to me. Okay, next one is this guy. It's my silver dragon alocasia. Alocasias, in my opinion, are kind of hard to care for. Um, I mean, I have a few, but they're very finicky. Like, you have to have high humidity, in my opinion, and you have to have their soil be not completely dried out, but like 90% dried out before you water them again. But I love this guy. I'll show you guys the newest leaf. This newest leaf is a little bit lighter than the more mature, darker ones. But yeah, I'm sure this one is going to die off soon. I feel like that's just how it goes. Alocasias just can't handle having a bunch of leaves at once they always like kill off one but look oh, I almost dropped the pot you can kind of see like how the veins are like a dark red like that is so pretty to me like yes my silver dragon queen okay how many other plants do I have Five more plants. Okay, next one I will throw in a Hoya. This is my Hoya Carii. I'm sure that you guys have seen like single leaves planted in dirt. And oh my gosh, this guy is infested. This guy is infested with spider mites. Are you kidding me? I don't know if this guy's my favorite anymore. Oh my gosh. Well, good thing that I picked it up. Holy cow. At least I think those are spider mites. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there's like a bunch of webbing on top of the soil. that you probably can't see, but this guy is going to go into isolation now and that's really upsetting but i love the hoya carii just because of the vining and the heart-shaped leaves but seeing those spider webs just really made me upset on the fact that i have this in my grow tent i'm really paranoid now so i'm gonna have to look at every single plan there to be sure and that's the other bad thing with winter like you have the heater on so it's hot and dry in your house and I guess spider mites thrive in that type of environment so that's that's really upsetting I'm just gonna have to keep it really humid in my plant room and just hope that the spider mites don't thrive because that is super annoying I'll show you guys my other Hoya um this is my Hoya Kentiana variegated This is a favorite plant of mine just because it's variegated and it's a Hoya and I like the long narrow leaves like this one it just reminds me of a green bean super cute and it kind of gets some pink on there which I don't know if you can see but there's that newest leaf that has some pink this has some pink coloring to it speaking of uh, pink plants This is my 
Pink Princess Philodendron, which is my first rare house plant that I got my hands on. Um, this was high on my wish list, and I'm glad that I was able to cut it off my wish list or scratch it off, not cut it off. But this was local in my area, so I didn't have to worry about shipping. So I'm like, I have to do it. I have to do it because I was going to buy one online and like, I'm just paranoid of ordering really expensive plants online because there's just a risk factor involved with shipping plants. I mean, I haven't really had an issue with uh, plant mail, but I don't know, just something with, you know, throwing a lot of money into a plant that I've been saving up for. It's just, you want it to come in one piece, you know? Or this guy is still trying to get used to my home. Um, I have it in moist sphagnum moss because this guy is not rooted yet. So I'm taking a risk there with rooting this. So if you guys have any tips with rooting Pink Princess Philodendron and what you guys have and what you guys have luck with, um, I had it in Lekka for like two days, but I was like really paranoid that it was going to get root rot. So I put it in sphagnum moss and the leaves are kind of curling and they're really soft. So I'm worried about that. So any tips at all with rooting Pink Princess Philodendron, comment down below. I would really appreciate it. But I mean, how can you not obsess over this plant? Like look at that pink variegation. I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot, but hey, it is enough for me to obsess over. It is so freaking cute. And I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can definitely see. This, that's going to do, that's going to be a baby right there. And I can't wait. I hope it comes out super pretty. I'm sure it will. Cause this is such a gorgeous plant. Okay. Up next is my Syndapsis Silvery Anne. Um, don't mind this leaf. It is sunburnt. I had it way too close to the grow light, which is surprising that it can get sunburnt from grow lights, but it can happen. And I'm obsessed with this pot too. It's so pretty. This plant has been doing so good for me under the grow light also, because this whole new vine is new. It is, I think it's kind of thirsty. You can tell when the syndapsis plant is thirsty because of the curling like a taco which I think I might wait for more of the leaves to curl up because I don't want to risk overwatering it but it's also putting out two new leaves right now so I would say it's doing pretty good and the last plant that I want to show you guys um is the syndapsis pictus exotica which I actually have like two more of these plants. I just split this guy up to put on a moss pole because I wanted this one to grow. So I want one that is growing upwards and then I want one that's trailing downwards. But having a pole will probably help make the bigger leaves. But this is the biggest leaf on this guy for now. It's putting out a new one, but like I said before, I am a sucker for silver leaves. It is so pretty. I especially love this one right here. It's almost all silver. And it's putting out one, two more leaves. So I think it's liking this moss pole. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And like I said, comment down below on any tips with rooting that pink princess philodendron because i need to keep this lady alive so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye